Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Um, I probably sound worse than I am because I've been outside playing in the snow with Piper. Um, but yeah, still not 100% right. Um, but we move, we're getting there slowly but surely. It's really kicked me in the guts this one. Um, but then I don't get ill very often, so... If this is it for the rest of the year, I'll be happy. I'm not sure this angle's ideal either. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to go in with a closeout for the second week of um, January. There is a uh, videos missing. Um, I just, I was just behind myself the whole time. Um, and I wasn't managing to catch up. And so, yeah, we um, ended up not... I recorded it, but I'm not going to bother because it was actually a shambles. I didn't know where I was putting money. It was the closeout for last week and the budget for this week. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know where I was putting money and oh, it was just, yeah, it was just an absolute shambles. So I'm not going to post it um, because there's no point. So what we're doing to do is we're going to quickly close out my purse. So we'll just flip over here. Um, flip the book over. And we'll see what we have used out of the purse this week. So, <coughs> can you see that? So for groceries, we had quite a spendy week this week. So we've got no notes in groceries. Um, and we do have change. So I'm not sure doing my budget Monday to Sunday is working. Because I needed a top-up shop in the middle of the week. And then I didn't have enough money at the end of the week for my food shop for this week so um yeah not fully sure of it is I just need to be more organized um and do a list and stuff maybe I don't know but anyway we just have change left over so we've got we had 40 pound in um I'm not even gonna try and do the math so we've got one pound 50 60 65 67 68 so we've got one pound 68 left <clears throat> so minus one pound sixty eight. So that means that we spent thirty eight pound thirty two. So my actual food shop wasn't that much, but because I'd spent a little bit the week before, so we're going to put that to the side. Pop it in here for now, and then <coughs> fuel. We have five pound left. So we spent £40 on fuel. My spending, I had to dip into this because um, I didn't have enough money. So we've only got £5 left on that. So we spent... Uh, Piper didn't have anything and work spending again with clients poorly so I didn't go with her um, this week so that and that and we didn't spend on there so we'll flip back over get rid of the purse, I need to do a cash stuffing but with no cash, I need to go to the post office, we need to go to the post office anyway, um, so I'll have to trudge through the snow but at least it's within walking distance so it's fine, that's not a problem. Okay so we'll just jump in here, so we spent 38, 32, we spent 40 there, we spent 5, nothing and nothing okay okay so we started the week with 1247 sorry um 37 i was gifted five pound um from somebody who bought a planner they sent an extra five pound over after receiving the planner so that was absolutely beautiful of them to do and i do appreciate that so thank you so so much uh, i'm going to put that into my envelope well, I did it in my cash stuffing that you've not seen because I've cash stuff for this week already. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I um, I put it into my own personal envelope um, that I'm going to just put aside for like a, 
a treat for me. So um, it'll be all about me. Uh, so 125 to 37 is what we had incoming. My £4 came out for my um, raffle that I've won a bottle of gin on once in 11 years or 10 years. <laughs> so 1, 2, 4, 8, 3, 7. And then let's add up all what we spent on the purse. So 38, 32, plus 40, plus 5 is 83, 32. Deduct that from the 1, 2, 4, 8, 3, 7, minus 83, no, 83, 32 is 1, 1, 6, 5, 0, 5. I just want to clarify, I don't have anything Bambi on today, but it is a, a what's up doc, what's his name? The rabbit. Bugs Bunny. It's a Bugs Bunny jumper uh, I have on. So for my sinking funds, what I actually did was I put <coughs> All About Me, which is my new fund for myself, which is basically going to be gifted money, um, is because I was kind of, I don't mean just be big headed, but who are gifting me? And I was putting it into my budget saying, oh yeah, I'll, I'll you know get myself a coffee with that later and then i wasn't so i thought well why not if people are gifting me for me i know it all goes down to me at the end of the day but you know because it's only me in my my household um why not just put it aside and then i have something that i can actually then really gift myself from all you lovely guys and it'll be something that i can remember um at the minute my thought process is to get a ring made with my grandma's ashes um, I'm still humming and hawing about it because I'm a bit dubious about sending the ashes away. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm getting lost basically. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I only have a very small amount of ashes. Um, I don't need them. They're not in an urn. They're just in the container that uh, the my parents were or my mum was given. Um, when she went to scatter the ashes so yeah there's not a huge amount in there um and i can keep the cat the, the you know the pot you know but any, anyhow so that's what i'm thinking but at the minute so i put five pound over to there i put ten pound over to my birthday so again it is um to treat me so if i don't spend it i'm kind of limit myself for my birthday to 50 pound and if i don't spend it then i might put it into the all about me or i might just put it back into a different sink and fund I had £50 left over from my fuel <clears throat> because I hadn't used it so I um, put it into my car maintenance fund because as we know I had to get a new battery and a new tyres for my car so the 300 in there I need another 150 and then I need to top it up back up to 300 so my fuel money went in there so the £5 from fuel will be going in there this week into my cash driven. Um, car insurance is fully funded for the moment, although I might take the money out of that and put it into car maintenance so it's ready for April because my car insurance isn't due till July, so that gives me a bit more of a play. Bet fund 10, home improvement 10, appliances 15, dog room 5, and then clothing 10, hair and beauty 10, uh, garden 10. There's a big thing about my garden at the minute. Um, he is now thinking instead of three days on his own he's now thinking he'll come one day with somebody else um so i'm really hoping that he's not thinking he's still going to get the 650 pound he quoted me and um, because he won't be um he quoted 35 pound times six it wasn't i think it was 620 times six and then times three days um so it was 630 he quoted but now he's thinking of coming double manned and only coming for one day so that would be 35 times six and then times two because there's two bodies so we're talking 420 um so that's pretty much all i'm going to give him i might give him 450 just to round it out because if he gets it all done in a day then that's grand and it's perfect for me um but yeah so i might not need all of that money but i'm still going to top it up just in case um because you just never know might be that the person he's thinking about wants to come with him he might not be able to bring them and whatever 
birthdays is ten pound. Um, but back back to the garden. If he wants to come for a second day, two manned. I'm not going to accept that. It'll be a second day, one manned because then that would be over my budget if that makes sense. So we'll see. Birthdays got ten because I've got two birthdays in March, um, and then eating I got five, which I did spend some of this week, and gifting got five. Oh, uh, gifts got nothing, sorry. <clears throat> so that is just a reminder there that I haven't actually put in that I've used my sinking funds. So technically, we should actually have, um, but let's just put it in and I'll check it at the end. <coughs> so I used e £40 from the eating out money. I left the rest as a tip, so I think it was £13, and 20 or something. Um, so sink and fund used would be eating out. I know it was a 40. So we'll just skip that um, for the moment and I'll do redo the maths. Um, in fact, no, let's just redo the maths. Sorry, this is still a shambles, but... This is real life. This is how budgets work. It doesn't always... Um, I thought I would remember because obviously I only did it yesterday. So I thought, oh, I'll remember tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but obviously I forgot. So we've got 1, 2, 4, 7, 37 plus 45 is 1, 2, 9, 2. Minus 4 is 1... Two eight eight, and then minus eighty three thirty two is one two zero five zero five, and then minus the forty again is back to where we were one one six five oh five. So then, so that meant I put hundred and fifty into my binders. So minus one five oh is one zero one five zero five. Okay, so for challenges, <clears throat> this is where I got myself all muddled up in the last video completely. I was putting money into pockets and I didn't know what pocket was what pocket and oh it was just a shamble. So anyway, we did the ten a uh, pound into the monthly challenge, which is the challenge in the book. I did ten pound into the so that was into this one i did 10 pound into the 52 week one and then i um i scratched off a 15 for the january for everyone's mad here and i put the money instead of putting the money into here i um put the money into an envelope and I was like oh, where did that envelope go and I had my bookmark had had five pound in it and I was I completely got myself in a bit of a tiz so yeah it was just an absolute shambles so anyhow that was that um I then decided that I was going to do the save for a rainy day with my change and um for ten pounds and then I'm also going to do these boots are making walking if I have five pound um and the other five pound was going to go to um no that's not right the five pound was the boots are making walking was from oh my golly gosh my spending change so that was five pound wasn't it so um I'm not doing coffee break at the minute because I have misplaced it. It's here somewhere on my desk. If it's not in my desk, it's in somebody's order. It's the order, um, which I will be hugely annoyed at. But if it is, then I hope you enjoy it. Um, <laughs> but I put it in a pile to laminate and I can't for the life of me find it. Um, so we've got these boots are made for walking. So that is for like my spending. So there's £5 in that one. And I, again, got completely confuddled with um, what bag I was using and all the rest of it. So Emily's probably going to shout at me, but I did have to write on the back of the bags which one was which. So 
that to that one and we'll mark off a fiver <coughs> and then we had um, this one for all the rest of the change so that's going to be a five so we'll just do a half and then we'll finish that with another five and then is it going to be awkward putting it in fuel money <clears throat> um, yeah it's, it's going to be awkward so we're going to put um, the my spending extras will go towards my oh I just don't know rainy day I'm just going to put the 10 in to rainy day so we've got 5 there and 10 there and the 2024 one is um it's not due to start until december but i did put money in it when i had extra so um that's why it's there but yeah let's just put that in i might use this money for adding to get my car battery thing done i don't know so that was that so we never put anything in that that was really awkward i'm sorry oh yeah in seasonal challenges um i'm starting on winter and um it'll be like every second week i'll do it so i'm going to start that next week um because i think winter is until mid-march is it something like that before we get to spring so there's a few weeks uh, to get the four done um and then this one here is for the bookmark the five pounds for the bookmark whenever i I do that so yeah that was a bit well all over the place and then now we have our change so we have one pound and 68 and change so we've got a one p i wasn't sure whether to do them all in separate bags but i think i'm just going to put them all in one and then when I finish them, pull it out and put it in a bag, if that makes sense. Probably give myself more work, but um, <clears throat> I just can't be bothered with all the little fluffy bags on my desk. I thought I had one of everything there, but I don't. A 10p. I've not got a 20. We've got 50. And we've got a pound. So there we go. Oh, just drawn on my jumper with a marker. Oh man. Okay, so all that can just stay in there for now and I'll put it into the tub after so it's not going to be too noisy. Um so let's add this up. Oh, I'm surprised that you guys watch these videos honestly. <laughs> so we've got 20 in the first box, we've got 15, we've got 15 there. And we have one pound and sixty-eight pence there. So we put fifty-one pound and sixty-eight into challenges. One zero one five oh five. So that's our balance, and we're going to deduct the fifty-one pound and sixty-eight pence. So nine six three thirty seven. I'm five pound out, and then minus twenty is nine four three thirty seven. And I should have nine four eight. Oh, that's in the wrong place. <clears throat> So I've got nine four three thirty seven. I should have nine four eight, so I'm gonna to have to go back and double check on that. Five, ten, twenty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred and five, yeah, that's right. 
45. Yeah, that's right. It was just in case that was wrong. Definitely 150 there. Um, no idea what I've done, where that extra fiver is. No, I didn't add the gift already. Um, yeah, we're five pound out. It's not a huge deal. We'll figure that out in the meantime. But yeah, we've got nine four three thirty seven going into next week. Um, so yeah, it's nine four three or nine four eight, depending on what I've done. Um, doesn't always add up, 